What is up, everybody? Paul Wyrostek, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing, and I am here to give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on. Not just from what I'm picking up intuitively, but what I'm picking up on through my sessions. Speaking of sessions, I just have a reminder for a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it's what I'm experiencing as an observer of each one-on-one -on -one healing session that I do and my group healings. Now I've done thousands of sessions over many years and when you see the progression as an observer, not just the channeler, as the observer, and you're able to watch how the progressions of each session uh, with each client progresses. So what I've noticed, there has been a massive shift, and this has been over the past three weeks, and the one-on-one -on -one clients that I've had over the past three weeks um, are noticing significant changes. See, for example, when I first started getting my healing sessions many years ago, um, and of course we're always in healing, you know, for it would be like, you know, you work on a past life, remove some attachments, and clear up the chakra system a little bit. But as the years have progressed, I've noticed that more and more and more is being able to be surfaced and released. So this is causing a big uh, increase of intensity too, right? That's why over the past uh, decade or, and more uh, has been, uh, you know, a crash course of ascension, if you will. So now everything's this ascension is a very rapid pace that's happening through all the portals that we've been having uh, since 2012, before that, the whole bit, right? But this is the biggest leap that I've ever seen. It's quantum. Now, over the years, I've noticed this quantumness where the healings reach out in all directions, multiple lifetimes. But what I've experienced over the past three weeks or so is now it's still layers of an onion. We're still healing in layers of an onion because we have to be able to handle the healing. We still have to go out and, and function in our normal daily lives. We still have to be human in the 3D world. But we also have to grow and we also have to experience and release things on our own. And we have to walk through and learn, make decisions, make choices, okay? But what I'm noticing now is, and the, you know, the last group healing that I did, thank for, you know, thank you everybody that's, you know, given the feedback. It was definitely um, extremely powerful. And, you know, the next group healing and the other group healings that I'll be doing are going to be in this new rapid increase of ascension energy now when you have rapid ascension you have deeper healings okay so what i'm noticing is i'm calling it clearing the slate sessions because it's it, it's almost as if i feel i feel like when i'm bringing a client or individuals that are part of the group healing to their higher self to universal oneness it's it's an across the board healing so imagine Every single lifetime you have ever lived, that you've ever incarnated in. Now, do not misunderstand me. This does not mean in a session all of your everythings and troubles is going to be healed. No. It's still layers of an onion. It just means the healing is going across the board. So this means all lifetimes that you have ever experienced, that you have ever incarnated in, Imagine the karma that comes up with that. What is karma? Imagine in a big group, imagine every single lifetime that you've incarnated, that you've ever had. Imagine every single soul in your monad or in your group of all those lifetimes. Imagine all of them in a big arena or a big room. That's karma. What did you do? Who'd you do what with, ba, 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 right? And what, what happened with you? 
right? So we keep leapfrogging through lifetimes with our soul group. Karma, when lessons are learned, when things are healed, when things are released, the karma is, the contract, if you will, is up. It is done. There is a tremendous amount of karma being released t today uh, with everybody that's on their healing path because of the rapid ascension. So just by changing your perception in your mind, just by choosing higher self, just by choosing healing, just by choosing unconditional love and light instead of victimization, poor me, blame, shame, guilt. Okay? Just by shifting the perception, you can have tons of karma instantly transmuted because you don't need to keep that first grade book in your backpack. You've already learned the lesson because you switched your perception and you chose to transform. What's the three stages of transformation, Paul? Check back on my past videos. It's being aware. It's being aware that you are not in your truth. It's being willing, number two, to change, to digest, to accept the clarity that may not be looking good. Because when you see, when you're mirrored and you see it, your ego might not like it, but you have to accept it. Not only accept it, love it. Love your faults. Love where you've been hurt. Then you have to be, take the action steps now to transform. So just by being willing to transform, that's when through my group healings or my one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients worldwide, it is an across the board healing now. There is healing that goes to every single lifetime one way or the other and every single person that you've ever incarnated with. Are you hearing me? This is nuts, okay? So, each session that I've ever done, a lot of people know, all my sessions are life-changing. But now we've taken it to new, to new levels. All of my channeling has always been, okay? Straight from Source Energy, straight from Universal Oneness, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one session or a group healing, I'm connecting to the individual's higher self through Universal Oneness. So it's very unique healing. We are just beginning this new phase of rapid ascension. Yes, it's been rapiding ascensioning for a long time, but 2020, okay, 2020. This means stepping up to the plate. This means, this is, this is, you're still in a last chance. You still have some time, but not much. To, to jump into the new life, to release the old first. Are you willing to release the old? Are you willing to release what doesn't serve you? Are you willing to release the people that are bringing your energy down? Are you willing to change your lifestyle? Are you willing to change who you are? Are you willing to admit you're wrong? Are you willing to face all of those blocks, cords, and attachments? And to jump into your new life, the new 35 or 38 year cycle. Difficult? Yes. But we're being bottlenecked by our higher selves, by universal oneness. Destiny is kicking in. There's no time to procrastinate. There's no time to dilly-dally. There's no time to, I'll just deal with this later. For decades, we could have done that. And we have done that. We had that space. But now we don't have that space. It could be difficult. The free will and free choice is, are, is it going to be difficult, this path? You know, we're bottlenecking to a singularity. You. The free will and free choice. Are you going to ride in the raft of life, of ascension, of destiny? Or are you going to be behind the raft, 
rolling around under the river and the rocks, slamming into the banks, trying to grab onto the tree limbs, trying to stop the whole thing. That causes even more pain. Pain is you resisting the change. Rapid ascension opens up for deeper healings. How many of you want to heal? If you've never experienced my one-on-one -on -one sessions, maybe this is a good time. All my group healings. I'll be doing group healing. The next group healing will be on fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, menopause, Lyme disease, and many more. Why? Because they're all connected. I'll be doing a video on that soon. Lots of twin flame activations are happening. I'll be doing a lot of twin flame, not only videos, but healings. It takes courage. You have to let the heart break. If you don't welcome destiny in, you will have another awakening. What is an awakening? It's trauma. It's traumatic. It's having your heart ripped out of your chest. Not literally, because that would be disgusting. But if, you know, we want to protect ourselves, we want to hold on to that heart, we want to even hold on to the pain sometimes, because sometimes that's all the ego has, and if you take that away, then what do we have? Nothing. Some of my clients are talking about how they feel like they're dying. They ha that they don't have an identity. It is their identity is dying. And there's a vulnerability to that. The vulnerability that, oh my God, I, the only thing that I knew, the only security that I had is falling away because it is false. Let the heart break. Let it open. Let the emotions come out. Let the feelings come out. A lot of us think we've been through all sorts of healing, and we have, but the layers are always coming out in deeper levels. Okay, so something that you may, you have thought you may have al already dealt with, well, you dealt with that layer of it, but now we're getting to the deeper stuff, deeper than ever. Okay, healings. The healing sessions that I do in group healings, the one-on-one -on -one clients, I feel like I'm a lawyer, but it's not a case of any sort. This is just my human way of explaining this to you. I tap into source energy. I tap into the beings of unconditional love, the higher self of the person that I'm channeling for. And it's almost as if I'm representing the client or clients within the group. And, and it's saying universal oneness, here is this person. Here is all of their lifetimes. Whatever doesn't serve them, whatever blocks, cords, and attachments, whatever contracts, whatever karma, whatever ancestral karma, whatever is not of the highest of good for this person to experience at this time, let's just release it. So a lot of what is healed in my one-on-one -on -one sessions on my group healings are not even discussed. They don't need to be. There just needs to be that opening and the holding of the space and the permission and the free will, the free choice of that client to heal, that they want to heal, that they're ready to let this stuff go, that they're ready to face the traumas. A lot of stuff can just be released, but a lot of stuff cannot because you need to feel it, you need to face it, and you need to deal with it. Are you ready to deal with it? Because we are entering into the highest frequency of ascension than you've ever experienced before. 2020 is a big year. Don't take that stuff with you. Love to all of you. Let it be done. And so it is done.